Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today I want to go over a very cool trick in DaVinci Resolve. It is a much quicker and easier way to color grade or color correct, depending on how you look at it, certain timelines versus clips. So if you're on the color page here, let's say you have multiple clips, and you want to add a look or maybe a specific kind of color or, or action to all of these, but you don't want to do it to each one of them separately which is pretty common. You want to add a LUT probably to all of them and maybe a certain setting, but then you want to grade them, or excuse me, correct them separately. So what you can do is if you have the color page open here, uh, if you don't see the nodes tab, just click on nodes. And right here, you'll actually see clip or timeline. Now what that means is this is going to be on the clip and this is going to be on the timeline. So if we click on timeline, right click, and actually we're just gonna click Alt S, that's going to create a new timeline node. Now, let's say we want to add, um, we're going to go to the standard Rec. 709 LUTify LUTs here. And we're going to go to one of my, my good teal and orange ones. So you can see it's added on here. And let's say we make another node here. And what, one of the things I love to do is go to the Luma saturation and then do the shadows completely black. And actually, we can do the highlights completely white. So that means there's no saturation in the highlights, no saturation in the pure blacks. So that's on our timeline. So now if we go to our clip, um, in most of these cases, I want to make these uh, Rec. 709. We're going to do the extended video just because. And I'm just going to copy that just to be really quick here. And then like, let's say this one is a little too, we want to warm this one up. So 6,000, oops, not, that's not right. 6,000 and then that looks pretty good. Maybe we want to brighten this up. So maybe uh, we'll do it over here in the curves. So maybe we're brightening up this and then maybe we don't like that this is too bright over here. So we'll do like a gradient and we'll pull it over here and we'll darken it. But as you can see, the great part is, I should probably pull the highlights down. The great part is, is that our timeline still has our LUT and still has our final correction. So the great thing is, is that that is gonna be the same through all of the clips and all of the clips in this timeline, but then we can adjust each of these separately without having to go and change those uh, sort of overall uh, overarching sort of things. And this is really handy, like I said, when you're doing like a look that you wanna have over all of your clips or you wanna have maybe a specific you know adjustment to all of your clips. Uh, just makes it super easy and just really, really handy. So anyway, guys, that is a quick look at how to speed up some color grading in the clip versus timeline in Dimitri Resolve. And anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.